right now we are just a few days away from an historic event. Come Monday, more than 31 million people from Texas to Maine will be in prime spot to see a total solar eclipse. Yeah, this morning, Anita Day with NASA joins us to talk a little bit more about it. Anita, good morning. Good morning. Now, Denver is unfortunately not in the path of totality, but what can people here expect to see? So you'll be able to see a beautiful crescent sun. How often do you get to say that? In an eclipse, the moon covers the sun. Um, in some places, it will be a total eclipse. In other places like Denver, and like for me in Maryland, it'll be a partial eclipse. So you'll get to see the sun look like Cookie Monster with a bite out of it. <laughs> <laughs> so the last time the U.S. saw a total solar eclipse was back in 2017. How is this one different? This one is different for several reasons. The path of totality for this eclipse goes from Texas to Maine, in 2017, that path went west. So you've got more people in the path of totality. It's much more accessible. 31 million people in the path, more people traveling to be in the path. The path is also wider this time, uh, so that it automatically includes more people. Uh, totality will be a little bit longer this time, twice as long as 2017. And the sun is reaching solar maximum right now. That means it's really active. So the people in totality, uh, when that moon is covering the sun completely, we'll be able to see a very wild corona. Uh, normally it looks like Albert Einstein's hair, you know, white and wispy, but it should be bigger uh, this time around. All right, Anita making it very relatable for <laughs> yeah. all of us this morning. Anita, we also know that this is a great opportunity to get some research done. What will scientists be looking for during this eclipse? It's really important for us to understand the corona of the sun better, corona, the outer atmosphere. That's the part of the sun that creates space weather, and that space weather affects us on Earth. It affects our communication satellites. So uh, we need to understand the corona. We also want to understand the ionosphere better. That's the upper layer of the atmosphere. It's where our communication satellites hang out. Um, and so to do that, we have a lot of experiments that are going to happen. From Wallops, Virginia, NASA is going to launch three sounding rockets, one before the eclipse, one during the eclipse, and right at, one right after the eclipse to understand the changes in the ionosphere, to understand what happens when that solar energy is taken away from the ionosphere all of a sudden during a total eclipse. We also have research jets that are going to fly at 50,000 feet above the Earth's surface, above most of the atmosphere, to be able to take all kinds of readings, to study the corona, and to learn more about space weather. Some really great ideas. We are so looking forward to it. Anita, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me.